So let's talk about some construction tips. We will be using a compass and a straight edge, not a ruler to measure things. Um, there are several circle tools you will, can use, different reasons to use them. Circle with center through point just makes a circle that I can change its size as I wish, as I'm checking things. Um, circle with center and radius means I have to pick the radius. And no matter what I do to that circle, it will never get any bigger. And then an actual compass tool, which means make a circle of whatever size. So if I want to copy this circle, I just click those two and it made a circle that size. Now the advantage to that, instead of making it size two and then make another one size two, is if I change uh, the circle AB, watch circle D. It changes with it because I told it to make it that size. There are times when you want to make things the same size. There are times you don't care. Okay. And that's uh, trying to figure some of that out. Now, why do we make circles? Well, because circles have some nice properties to them. One, if I make a circle, it has a radius. 2.2. And amazingly enough, it always has a radius of 2.2. .2. So if I want to make segments the same, congruent, I will use a circle. And I will always get things the same. As long as I make the same size circle somewhere else, like with a compass. Hey, make a circle this big. Put it there. How big is that? Amazing enough, look over here, 2.2. Ta-da. Um, that comes in handy because we have things that are the same size. Uh, parallelograms have things the same size. Opposite sides are congruent. Um, so that makes it means a rectangle needs that. Rhombus needs that. Um, square needs that. A kite, I have pairs of things the same size, so a kite needs that. The other thing with circles is uh, they make perpendiculars. So if I make two circles, I'm going to make them just any old size, but I am going to make them cross. Here's what I do. I need to find where they cross, though. So in GeoGebra, if I click, on, it's right there, but I want GeoGebra to find it. So I click on both circles, and it tells me where both circles are crossing each other. So that's E and F. Now, if I were to draw a line segment or a line through there and connect the centers of the circle, that right there is a perpendicular. Don't believe me? I don't blame you. Find where it crosses, measure the angle. Ninety degrees. No matter what I do with these, move them around any way I want. I well, can I move them so far though, right? Otherwise things go away. Um, yeah, it always stays ninety. Um, so, circles make things the same size. Circles get me 90s. Now, how would you get... So, so, I mean, there is... What needs 90s? Kite needs a 90s. Rhombus can use 90s. Those are both in the center. Uh, square, the 90 can be in the center around the corners. So, this could be the corner of a square. Then you just have to make the sides the same length. How do you make them the same length? Circle. The same size. Uh, rectangle. Ah, yeah, this is a start of a rectangle. You know, it's... It's a 90 and a corner. Then you got to make this side one size, this side a different size, and then this side has to match down here. Circle. Circle makes things the same size. And you make a circle to match by using the compass tool. So you don't actually measure numbers. You use compasses. Um, how do I make parallels? Well, that's easy. You actually make multiple perpendiculars. 
So if I, I want to bring this down a little bit, get it out of the way. Come on down, people. Sometimes I don't like to move the way I want them to move. All right. And I want to make a line with that going up. I'm going to make a perpendicular up here. And again, it can be any size circles. I can even make them match each other. Find where they cross each other. Draw a line through there. Now that line up here is perpendicular to this line right here. If you don't believe me, that's fine. But this is a given for a construction that if I find the intersections of circles, but don't forget to draw the lines from the centers and then the intersections, I get 90. So that's 90 to this. And this, the upright one, is 90 to that. So guess what? This line AC and this line JLK, they're parallel to each other. Because if it's 90 to 1, and it's, if they're both 90 to the same thing, they're parallel to each other. Hey, that's like the start of a parallelogram and the start of a rhombus. Or not a rhombus, a uh, trapezoid. Trapezoid has one set of parallels. So you almost got a trapezoid right there. Four circles.